Welcome back to my cooking channel. Today I have a special guest, um, my friend Heidi that I met on Dancing with the Stars, Heidi D'Amelio. <laughs> so I'm excited to have her here. I'm really, really excited. She's my first guest as a I friend. Yes. Yay, I didn't know that. Yes, you're my so first excited. guest. Yes, so I'm so excited. Hard. I've had my kids cook with I've me. Seen. I've had Louie cook with me. So you're my first friend. Thank I'm so you. excited. Thank so, you yeah. for having me. So thank you for being here. So today um, I'm making eggplant parmesan, but in a vegetarian style. And I've had a lot of requests for that. So um, as we start preparing, um, Heidi's going to explain, you know, how she eats. Like, you know, explain the different styles, like vegetarian, vegan, plant-based, and um, can't wait to hear about it and learn more. So. And I want you guys to tell me if there's any other recipes that you want to see. You know, love to hear from you guys. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not eating it. <laughs> oh I'm going to put him in the Sunday sauce. Oh my God, stop. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here today, snorting. All right, go up, up, up. <laughs> Sorry, right, so we're gonna start with cutting the eggplant. We're gonna slice it. Heidi, I want you to explain to me all the different, you know, what, what would you say? Different what? Like? Choices. Choices. <laughs> food like, choices. Yeah, food choices. Yeah, yeah. I personally am mostly plant focused or plant based. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't eat meat or dairy. Um, Vegans are, uh, don't touch anything that any kind of animal had something to do with it. Like they wouldn't eat honey and things like that. Got it. Um, which I do eat honey, so I wouldn't call myself a vegan. Don't quote me on all of this, but this is to my knowledge. Um, so pretty much everything I eat is plant-based and um, so I'm, I just sliced the eggplant. Now Heidi's gonna salt them, and we're gonna bake it in the oven so it takes the moisture out before I flour and bread it. I would put it in the oven, the lowest setting of your oven. I would keep it in the oven for like 10 minutes until you see the eggplant sweating. And I love cooking right next to the sink, and I just I know, throw it too. in there just I like do that. The same thing. Oh, and then so vegetarian. So I would consider this vegetarian because we are going to use the eggs. Vegetarians usually eat dairy, no meat, dairy. So if you had to make this vegan, what would you do? Different? I probably wouldn't have done the egg. And so that would have been the only so then, difference. Oh, so would you do like, because when I make things, just say like chicken cutlets, instead of frying them sometimes, I put, I, I, I put them, I, dr I dredge them in olive oil and then I do breadcrumbs. So would you oh, do that? Yeah, so, yeah. So would yeah. You, would I, that's what that I've done vegan? with eggplant before because you need something for the breadcrumb to stick. stick. Right, so I use olive oil, which is that something to like, yeah, vegan? I would, yes. Okay. So we're adding Okay, I'm gonna put the salt on, right? So we need, a, we need another tray. So the reason why you put the salt on the eggplant it helps bring the moisture out of the eggplant. So, yes, I'm excited for you to be here. I'm excited to be here. I feel like when we met on Dancing with the Stars, it was so hectic. I th you were training here, right? Yes, at your house? yes. I was in LA, so we only saw each other really on the camera blocking days and show days. Yeah, so it was, and it was and it so was, fast yeah, and, and hectic. Yeah, it was hectic and, and, you know, we were, I know I was stressed, you know? And, and, but um, Louis and Mark met yeah, they, and, they and they hit, hit it, it off. off. I know. And then once, we were kind of done with the show. We got to hang out, and yeah. that's really whenever, like, I feel like our friendship kind of like blossomed. Yeah, yeah. And like I was excited. Um, Louis like, yeah. He's like, yeah. you know, I love Mark. He's like, I can't wait for you to meet Heidi. And then, yeah, and it was like great. And then we got we, we met first. Yeah. And yep. then we had lunch, and then we all went out together, the four of us. So. I know we've done quite a few little. Yeah. So adventures. now we have to like. Next is a vacation. Okay, We have I'm to down. Like, definitely plan a vacation together. I am down for that. Yeah, so I definitely want to do that because we love vacationing. Same. What's your favorite vacation? Okay. Well, I know you guys keep saying, didn't you guys say to us Cabo? Or did you well, say that? We did or go you, to Cabo Or you go recently. to Cabo. That was our first time. So. Uh, oh, that was your favorite. Did you like it? Yeah, it was beautiful. And it's close to Cali. Yes. But, I mean, do you care? Do you have a preference? Or are you going Well, anywhere? I mean, we kind of always used to go to the Bahamas because when we lived on the East Coast, it was so easy. 
And we still do that, but it's much more of a pain coming from LA. From LA, yeah. So, but we're open to new places. Okay, my ex lives in the Bahamas. Okay. Yeah, so if we go there, we can, yeah, we can hang out with him. <laughs> he's always at the Bahamar. Oh, that's where we stay. Yeah, usually. he's always there. Um, I mean, my daughters go to the Bahamas a lot. Oh. Yeah, because they visit him a lot. I've gone to the Bahamas with Louis to uh -huh. meet my ex. Oh, okay. And it was Louis doing. Oh, yeah, that's nice. He's like, he's like, babe, uh, my kids were there, and um, I had to pick up Adriana because she had to get back for dance, mm -hmm. and you know, because you can't miss. Yeah. It's like you have to be at dance, otherwise you get kicked off the yeah. dance, you know, dance competition it's very team. Intense. Yeah, so so we had to go pick her up, and then Louis like, well, let's have dinner with your ex. He's like, the girls will love it, and I was just like, what? I was like freaking out. I was like. You want to have dinner with my ex? I'm like, N I don't know if that. I, I'm like, I'm, it's gonna be weird. And, yeah. But you know, he's like, babe, the kids are gonna love it. They're gonna be so, you know, and you know, it Calm. brings yeah, and it yeah. brings the family together, and yeah. it's gonna make them happy. That's nice. And you know what? I have to say that was the best thing we could have ever did, because the girls were so happy, and you know, and because I mean, obviously, this is all new for me, the blended right, family thing. Right. Right. And um, so yeah, so we did it, and. It went great. They got along great, and then, and then afterwards, um, I was like, "Oh my God! I want to do the same thing with your ex-wife," you know. Aww, that's and then nice. we did the same thing, you know. That's so great because I know a lot of families have a hard time with that, and so I think when it it should be all about the kids, and I know it would be hard. I can't imagine how I would feel, but to put the put for all of you guys to put all the differences aside and be there for the kids is like yeah. I, I commend you guys for that. No, and that's what we did. Then it was little Louis's birthday, and then we were going to Atlantic City for the weekend. Oh, nice! So I invited um, Louis's mom to come. Yeah, and then we spent the weekend in Atlantic Aww. City, and it was great. That's yeah, for awesome. his birthday, and so now it's now it's easy. Yeah. So now, Cut, yeah. You, once like the first time. Was yeah. After the first yeah. time, now it's good. So now yeah. you know. Now you know we could hang out, and you know. It's so fine. Bahamas, it is. I mean, I don't know about the Bahamas. Like, you know, I don't know. No, I mean, I I like trying new places. I know. We I, always end up doing the same thing. Because the kids, like, they have so many memories there, so they keep wanting to go back. So, yeah. But I know. I just But like, if it's just the four of us, then we can go yeah, wherever just we want. The, I mean, Yeah, I mean, I guess if with the kids, it'll be great yeah. to go to the yeah, Bahamas. Because, yeah. um, you know, for, and, so for us, it's great because it's really close. Yeah. But I like trying, like, new places. I don't okay, know. what's a place? Well, I know you guys were just in Monaco. Oh, that oh was my god! Awesome. I was so jealous. I'm that like, babe, awesome. I want to be there with them. It's so, small. It's like really small. That's what I heard. Like you could do the whole. You could yeah. do Monaco, um, Monaco, Nice, Saint yeah. Tropez. Yeah, it's like and right everything like like in, right in a few yeah. days, right? I met a lot of princesses there, like you did? real life princesses. Uh -huh. And I have now have princess friends. Uh -huh. I mean, you're my princess friend too. Uh -huh. thank they you. They are like actually oh <laughs> real princesses. So I would definitely want to go back there again. That would be fun. So I think and, the guys and, would have fun there and too. And I like that because uh, oh yeah, um, I like that because you've been there already, so then yeah. you would know all the spots yeah, to go to. It was I would that is. Definitely a place I want to go back. We had the four of us that went once before, and okay. then this time it was just Charlie and I. And uh, well, we were there for F1, which is yes. a whole different experience, so that was fun. I think if you hit it at the right times, because when we went the first time, it was dead. There was nobody there. Oh, really? Which was nice. Okay. It what, was month, nice. what month was that, May? The first time we went was October, oh. and then just now we went, I think it was June. June, okay. I forget, whenever F1 So, was. like, I mean, I want to definitely put that on for yeah. next June then. Okay. Yeah, because I'm just saying if it was good, because I... Yeah. Know. No, because I, I like to go a place that somebody has been, because then, then you'll know yeah. where to go. No, you know? I agree. It's like, I've been, have like you been fumbling. to Greece? I haven't. Okay, I've been to Greece, so... Oh, I think I just heard it go off. Hold on. It's sweating. I think so. I mean, how, I think we're how good. It, this, yeah, good? You think we're good? I'll be your assistant. Oh, thank you. My, yeah, what my, is it called? My sous, sous chef. chef. Yes. Okay. okay. Where are we going with this? Um, hold on. Let's put it right here. Okay, be careful. And then push that. Thanks. So. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so. Here. So just dab them? Yeah, dab them. Oh yeah, they are. Be careful, don't touch this. I don't want you to get burned. I kind of miss cooking. Since the girls moved out, 
Dixie and Charlie. I don't. I know you said you cooked. Really cook? I mean, I cooked every single day since the day I got married. Wow. <laughs> well, except on Sundays. Oh, uh, that's so nice. Uh, usually, like you do big cooking on a Sunday. Yes. My mom used to do that too. That was the day I was like, I don't want to cook on Sunday. So you would go to your mom's. Is that? Well, because well, I didn't. My family is in Louisiana, so we didn't. But Mark's mom would cook, or his sister would cook, like a Sunday sauce. Oh, yeah, because you lived in Connecticut. Yeah. Right, right, right. So Mark's family's Italian. Yeah. I'm from Louisiana, so I we would know. always eat, like, the Cajun I... food. But it was the same thing. My mom would cook a big Cajun meal on Sundays, you know, after your night out, and you're, like, sleeping late, and then you smell it. It's yeah. Yeah. So Heidi just pat, she patted them down. She just absorbed all the sweat on the eggplant. And I'm just plating this right now. Okay. You could just, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, right there. Okay. All right, let's do this. Do you want to crack the eggs? Can no. we both crack them? Yes. Do you put the shells in? Yes. Okay. And Me too. Just like that, and I throw them in the sink. Do you do the same? You you cut the you crack the egg just like I do. Yeah. Why? Well, so uh, no, because I always see chefs go like this. Oh yeah, I I'm, like I'm that. terrible at that. It always end up oh, with, look, so I did with shells. Wait, let's yeah, see yeah I, I did. Do it. Yeah, I did a pretty good shot. Yeah, oh, I did it. Okay, oh my let's god, see. try it. You oh, did it. All oh, right, high five. All right, see that? You and I were talking about. We have we have a lot of things in common with like between. We both have a lot of girls in our family. Yeah, a lot of girls. I know. We have that. like almost the same Wait, dogs. How many girl cousins do you have? Oh my gosh. So, okay, I'll tell you this. So, okay. I'm one of four girls. Okay. My mom's one of three girls. My dad had two sisters. I have one, th three nieces, two nephews, um, two bonus sisters. So, like, my first cousin girls were, like, my sisters. Um, this is all, like, all this is, like, mostly on my mom's side. Just so many women in our family. Mm -hmm. And then I have the two girls. Yeah. Um, but then, like, we have, like, the same dogs. Yeah, what do you have? We have a chocolate lab. Okay. You I have a too. chocolate lab. Do you have a golden retriever? I have a golden retriever. And you have a little white dog. I have a little multi -po. Yeah. And then I have a, um, a, a chocolate lab and a black lab. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then our, our other one was, is a little cockapoo. He's, like, okay. the same color as a golden retriever. So I have um, the little multi -po is Bella. And oh, mine's Belle. Oh my God. And then, <laughs> wait, and then we have a black lab. That's a Bella too. So Louie and I both had two Bellas. And we have the chocolate lab that's Marley. Okay, ours is Rebel. And our golden is um, Rosie. And ours is Callie. Oh, so cute. <laughs> that's so funny. I love it. All right, so I, I, I beat the eggs. Is that, do you use a fork when you beat your eggs? Yeah. Okay, so I just, I? wait, so our place here in mm -hmm. Connecticut, well, not here, but in Connecticut, yeah. I didn't have a whisk. So yeah, I, I just bought a whisk, whisk, and I haven't used it since I got yeah, it. Yeah, I don't like, ever I always use a fork. So do I. So, okay. Let's okay. put them on. And then we'll place it on here. Okay. So, yeah. So I'll do the flour like this. And then the egg. So I should do it right here. And then the breadcrumbs. How like about that. well? I'll go. How about I go here? Perfect. Yeah. And then you take them. All right. Beautiful. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. Do like See a, that? I love this assembly line. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> See that? I know Louie and I cook in the kitchen together all the time. Yeah. But um, do you and Mark cook together? You know what? He's a really good cook. He's a really uh, creative cook. But we've, I, but we've never done this t together before. Oh really? Like yeah, but this is cute. We'll like <laughs> we'll tackle different things. Like we won't share. Like we wouldn't share this. Yeah, he's, obviously. He's like, too messy. Yeah, yeah. I'm like very neat. Oh my god, we made pizza together, and he was like throwing the flour all over me. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna kick your butt. Yeah. Because boys are messy when they cook, yeah. right? It's like I the, like, when I'm like done cooking, neater. my whole kitchen's clean because I clean as I go. Yeah. And he's like, what? Why would you ever do that? And so when we cook together, mm -hmm. like, he would be doing this and I would just be doing so. I would, like, if there's other parts to the meal, like, we would just do different things. Yeah, no, because, that's what Louie and I do. Yeah, because yeah, it's, yeah. But I like doing this together Me with too. you. This is fun. I feel like we're on the same page. Yes, I love this. <laughs>
So after we finish breading the eggplant, we're gonna put it back in the oven and let it cook for like, again, 10 to 15 minutes. And then we're gonna plate it. Oh, hi, little Fluffy. You're so cute. Does she have a barrette? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she has a barrette, yes. My dog would never. Oh my God, I love barrettes. I used to paint my dogs. Nails. Oh, Bella. No, I used to paint her, her tail and her <gasps> feet pink. Aww. Pink or purple. And like I used to have this amazing groomer that now she moved to Miami. And now I'm like, I can't paint her. Aww. I can't get her painted anymore. I always see that in LA, people have their dogs like. Yeah, I like to do cute colored. things. <laughs> well, oh, let me tell you how many girls we have. Okay. So yeah. on Joe's side, um, there's all together um, 11, 11 girls. I had four girls, um, Joe's sister had four girls, <sighs> and Joe's brother had three girls. Yeah, so yeah, so <laughs> we have a lot of girls. A lot of ladies. Yeah, so it's cute because they all have each yeah. other. Yeah, and then I have, um, um, my brother has one daughter and two sons. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, so I have, so all together so many I have, girls. oh my God, so, well, including my girls, there's 13 girls and two boys. Wow. Yeah, and now, yeah, and now, well, now, and then plus my two stepsons. Right. More boys. Yeah. My dad, when my, Mom and dad got married. My dad wanted, he was a boxer, he was an athlete, and he wanted, they wanted five boys, and they got four girls. He was like, okay, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done. I love, I, I love my girls. I know. I wanted a girl so yeah. bad. Because we just didn't really have a lot of boys. I was like, I don't know. And then it all worked out. But I, my, I love my nephews. They're so cute. Yeah, I have, I'm not used to boys, but I have. To, I love my stepsons, and I always wanted. I always wanted to have a son, so now I have two stepsons. Aww. Yeah, and they're like they're great. They That's really are. Awesome. I mean, I have to say our blend of family. Thank you, God. It was it worked out? Because you know I, I hear horror stories. Yeah. So, but thank God it all worked out. So, how was it moving from Connecticut to LA? We, Mark and I were already talking about moving somewhere warmer. Mm -hmm. And then all of this stuff happened and the girls got really big on social media. And yeah. we were going back and forth to LA a, a lot. A lot, yeah. And so the girls started working on us about moving and all of that. So that was great and that they wanted to move. And it was like, were I remember we talked about it. It was like perfect timing. It was it like really right after was. high school. Yep. Right? So they finished their high school Well, years. Dixie did. Charlie. Oh. Well, And then the pandemic. So the whole oh, thing so went yeah. online. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, so it worked, yeah, it worked out. Because usually kids don't want to move. No, um, they were They were wanting to. Yeah, but Dixie had so like right. gotten into college. She was all set to go. And then the pandemic happened. And then this happened. She was like signing a record deal. And I was like... She was like, yeah, I think I'm just gonna not go to college, college yeah. <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's great. But, um, um, so Mark could work from wherever with his How? job because it didn't matter. Um, I know, that's the only thing. Which was nice. breadcrumbs, they're sticky to your fingers. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so we'll put this here. And now we're gonna plate. Okay, now it's not, it's not hot. Now we're gonna put the eggplant back on the tray. So we're gonna Do bake we it in the pizza? oven. Yeah, oh, thanks. We'll bake it in the oven for like 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, this is so good. They look really good. What, how I usually, when I make eggplant parmesan, I mean, you can make this, to bake it is the healthier way or you could also fry it and make it that way. Of course, when you fry everything tastes better, right? Yeah, <laughs> I know. always. Yeah, so you can make it two ways. I go back and forth making it. Like, Do your kids have a preference? No, my, kid, my kids, I have to say, they're not picky eaters, they eat okay. everything. Good. And well, you're such a good cook, so oh, that's, And you know what, kids, <laughs> kids love like a home cooked meal, oh, right? Yeah. I'm sure your kids do yeah, too. I don't cook much anymore. Mark does a lot of the cooking now, but that the girls don't live at home. But um, they call me, uh, can you mix, um, make some food for us? 
And they and I'll do like they love like you said like a good home cooked meal. So I'll do. I like know a you were telling me they, they like and, the the, the food and from Louisiana that you make. All the yeah. Cajun food. The Cajun yeah. food, right? Okay. So I just put the breaded eggplant in the oven at 350 temperature, and it's gonna bake for I would say like 15 minutes. So what is your kids or your family's favorite? thing that you cook like do, are they all aligned like okay this is the one are they all like different things no they eat everything I, I make but do much. they have a favorite yeah they all have their favorites okay so it's yeah all they all have their favorites like um like there's a few favorites that they like um I can't say like one like I know all right for instance I say Melania Melania loves steak pizzaiola okay steak pizzaiola you know what that is You've made it on one of your yes, yeah, 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 yeah. So I know so now. that. Say all <laughs> but no, I don't think white I, rice. I, I like she. That's like had one that. thing that I always remember that she always like she likes, says, "Mommy makes steak with Got it. Like Gabriella, um, she likes the Taya Deli. Did you see that? The Taya yes. Deli with the yep. peas and yep. ham. She, I know she, that's one when, when I make that. She's like, "Oh my gosh!" She gets excited. <laughs> and Gia, um, I'm trying to think what Gia loves. Um, yeah, Gia's not really picky because I always say, give me ideas. Yeah. You know, I'm sure it's they, easier when they tell you. When like, they tell you what yeah. they want, right? Because yeah. I'm sure so much easier. from cooking every day, right? Yeah. You, some days you're like, what am I going to make yes. today? No, what? Yep. I, I know another favorite of Gabriella is pork chops with hot cherry peppers. Oh, okay. So And that's so easy to make with potatoes, nice. sliced up potatoes. That's another one. Adriana, she just, whatever I make, she eats. Nice. Like, of course, they love pasta. Yeah. I mean, that's the staple. Yeah. yeah. Charlie's gotten really good at making pasta, her own sauce. So. Really? Yeah. Oh my God, that's so she good. And her chicken cutlets. Oh, oh sorry. my God. Oh my God, I get it. I got it. I think it's ready now. Oh yeah, look. See, Ooh. they're golden. Like they're golden brown. So you want to get the the white tray. So the white. Oh, I'm gonna plate this. Hold on. Let me get a fork. Even though we're making a vegetarian dish. Eggplant Parmesan is still an authentic Italian dish. Wouldn't you agree, honey? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to plate it. So we'll put sauce on the bottom. Okay. This is why I, wear, I love wearing black to cook. Yes, yeah. Is I mean, sometimes. Good? Do a little bit more. And then, you know what? Let me get a ladle. And then we'll spread it like this. Yeah, that, that's good. That's okay. I learned a lot about cooking authentic Italian because Mark is Italian. Mm -hmm. So his mom would teach me. Oh. And she even taught the girls to um, to what to, to make, because make? Uh, their favorite that she makes is chicken cutlets. Oh, yeah, yeah. So they had a favorite from their Italian grandmother and their Cajun Louisiana. grandmother. Oh, yeah, from Louisiana. Cajun, so I'm huh? like, I have to learn both because that was their favorite. Uh, what's their, and so what's their favorite chicken? So chicken cutlets. Um, well, what does Dixie like? So both like the same? from the Italian side, they love they love chicken cutlets with you know spaghetti and red sauce and mm -hmm. all that. But they also love it with mashed potatoes oh, yeah. and corn. Okay. And then from my side, it's um, smothered chicken with rice and gravy and makshu, corn makshu. Oh, yummy. I'll have to cook for you. Yes, I when I come, I, I, I want to taste it because I've never been to Louisiana. Whenever I cook it, like if there's people at my house, they're like, this smells so good. But it's so weird. Like it's hard to, you have to have the right pots. Like it's a little tricky. Do I pour more? Yeah, no, and then, uh, yeah, now put the sauce and then we'll put the cheese okay. on it. Heidi, I got this for you. We, we're using plant-based What's it out? Ooh. I feel like it's come so far with like plant-based foods. It used to not be very good, but sometimes you can't even tell. I'll th make things and Mark like doesn't even believe me that it's plant-based. Do you want it solid? Yeah, do a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So I'm excited about this. Yeah, Is okay. Cool? Yeah, beautiful. That's perfect. And then we'll sprinkle the mozzarella cheese. Like that. Smells so good. Yeah. <laughs> eggplant. I have to say, eggplant parmesan is one of my favorites. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. I used to. And also, um, stuffed eggplant. Um, like. Oh yeah. yeah. Stuffed eggplant with breadcrumbs, and mm. we use it. I use Italian sausage. 
Nice. Just like I do my um, stuffed artichokes. Okay. I pretty much use the same stuffing for that. And so you, you know, you carve out the eggplant, chop up the eggplant, saute all that. I know I got to make that for my cooking channel. Yes. Those I love the egg, and it's probably not eggplant. super hard, right? No, it, no. I mean, like anything, I, I feel it like takes a little longer time to make it, but very easy. So worth it, right? Yeah, definitely worth it. I think I think it, people get intimidated, but. I mean, that's why it's the beauty in your show. Like, you're just doing this. In yeah, and I'm, that's why <laughs> well, I keep it, telling everybody, don't be intimidated. It's, it's, and it's fun. And, like, I love cooking with friends. And, like, yeah. could, like I mean, otherwise, you know, if we were doing this without the cameras, we would be drinking wine right now. <laughs> yeah, so you have so much fun, like, cooking and yeah. hanging out with your friend and just having fun. And, you know, it should be fun. I mean, like, and especially when you cook for your friends, it's like fun, you know, you, yeah. you know, you're entertaining and having a good time. So just to let you guys know, first we put a layer of sauce, then we put a layer of the eggplant, breaded eggplant, then we um, put another layer of sauce, then the mozzarella cheese, and then we just keep repeating this. That's, so that's what we're doing. And then that's it. So just to let you know, because I'm going to be going to your hometown, I'm doing the Hay Stanford Food Festival. That's so exciting. In Connecticut. Yeah, so I'm going to be oh. there. So have you gone to that? I have not. Okay, you have not. Okay. So. But I, my friend has, because we were actually just talking about that. Uh -huh. um, or maybe put it in then pour it on top. Yeah, maybe, right. maybe it'll be easier. Or maybe you'll need that. Yeah, leave it here. So, so what are you going to do there? So I'm hosting and judging all the food trucks there. That is so cool. So I'm excited about that. And you know what? I have to say, I've been putting out in the universe, like I'm all about that, and I think you are too. Yeah. I've been putting out in the universe that I would love to be a judge on a cooking channel. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so I did put that out there, and so I'm glad it's happening. Well, when it when you have, like, I'm going to share it, because I have all my people there, so oh, I want okay. them to go and see you. Yeah, and then I'm sure afterwards I'm probably going to have to take pictures with fans, oh, that's which will cool. be so nice. And, um, that's really and cool. every time I go out of Jersey, because everyone's used to me in Jersey. Yeah. Like, I'm sure you feel, feel like that, too, in Connecticut. I'm sure people are used to because you live in Connecticut. Yeah, or yeah. maybe, I don't know, now that you moved out. But any time I go out of Jersey and I go somewhere else, everyone's, like, so more, so much more excited to see me. Yeah. Because they don't oh. see me all yeah, the time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. Smells good. Smells good. <laughs> and this is, again, my quickie sauce. The recipe is on my YouTube channel already. So see, the quickie sauce is could be used for so much. And then we'll put more cheese on top. So now we're done, and we're going to put it in the oven at 400 for 30 minutes. The longest 30 minutes of my life. <laughs> OK. It looks so good, right? Wow. Yummy. OK, so now we'll make it pretty, put some parsley on top. Just like that. Here's our eggplant parmesan. Thank you, Heidi, Thanks for coming for to making it with me. So, and this is great, guys, to make it for anyone that has a big family. It's definitely a people pleaser, and everyone's gonna what? Love, love, love. Yeah, love, love, love. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe my channel. Can't wait to see you again. Bye. Bye.